UL offensive coordinator and recruiting coordinator, Mr. Tim Leger. How are you, sir? Good foot. How we doing, man? Well, we got baseball about to start. We still got basketball going on, softball. It's crazy time of the year. Yeah, we got a little bit of everything going on, which ain't that ain't never bad. Get to go out to the Teague, watch baseball. Gonna catch some softball Sunday. And then we're in the middle of spring football, so it's a good time around here. Absolutely. All right, so let's get to it. I, I have you <laughs> have you thrown a pass? Like and no, what is your shoulder absolutely like? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. But I mean, how difficult is practice been, or is it not as bad as it, it, it would it seems from the outside with your lack of quarterbacks available? Yeah, you know, it's just it just it just way the way thing kind of kind of fell out. You know, coach uh, coach Nape's philosophy was you never could have too many of those guys on scholarship, which was hard to have enough reps in practice. And and really, when you're ro- managing the roster, you really want about four on scholarship is what you really want. And obviously, last year we had six. We moved Lance to wide receiver, and gave us five, and then we lost two in the portal, right? Which those guys, you know, did the right thing for their career to move on. And then, um, you know, unfortunately. You know, Ben's hurt, and so he's you know he's got to where he can throw individual routes now, but that's about it. And then, and then Chandler the night before we start spring, you know, ruptures his appendix and and has to have surgery. So, uh, just just bad timing, you know, kind of a little bit of bad luck, but it's been good. We've got we've got some guys that play other positions that can really throw that maybe even play quarterback in high school that gets us through individual routes, and then all the group stuff. Hell, man, I mean, it's been great for Zion. He gets them all, you know. So um, all the team reps, all the group reps, um, you know, the the thing we've had to watch is his, his, you know, kind of work management, I guess. But he's 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 such a freak athlete, man. He does – he handles it, and, and he's been good. He's been good. So it's actually been a blessing. He took more reps in two days than Ben and Chandler did last year in five days. Yeah, so no, I believe it. Yeah. So for him, it's exactly what he needs, right? So it's been good. All right. So you've had uh, the the wide receiver coach part of your job has been really, if you go back the last four or five years, it's fascinating how many different scenarios you've had to deal with and try to make right. the best of. And yet this year might be the most intriguing to me because you. You know, you 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 lost the guys in the portal, and then you've got this incredible athlete that you're just trying to figure out how to totally utilize right. and Lance, and then you're going to be depending on young guys with Jefferson and, and guys going. So talk about right. that. Yeah, no, it's actually it's it's been exciting. Um, obviously, we're really excited for for MJ and both John. Those guys have done really good in their pro day build up. Um, you know, I'm hearing everywhere from the third to fifth round for Michael and, um, you know, late round and priority free agents for Big John. So I'm excited for those guys and the development they got in a couple of years they were here with us and, and put themselves in position to be a pro. Um, and then, you know, the guys in the portal, you know, that's part of college football now. And when, when there's not guaranteed reps and snaps and touches, um, you know, guys are going to want to move on for a better opportunity. Um, and, you know, it is what it is. Um, so, you know, those guys have been productive backups for us here for a couple of years, and, and we hate to lose them, but it's just, it's just nature of the business now. So um, I'm excited about Lance. Lance is, is uh, obviously freakishly talented. This has been a little bit of a work in progress. It's obviously very different for him. Um, last year at the end of the year, you know, it was more instincts and feel and just trying to go with it. Now he's trying to really kind of hone in on the precision of the position, the skill development, uh, route depth, footwork, all the things that go with it. Uh, Jacob Bernard is having an unbelievable spring, um, and and he looks like, I mean, he looks like an NFL player. He really does. And in fact, some of the guys that have come through here for MJ have commented on him. He's he's had a great spring. He's going to put himself in position and have a great year. Obviously, Pete is Pete, you know. So you get the same thing every day. 6'2", 200 pounds, and just consistent. So we're excited about him. And then, you know, A.J. J. Rose here, early enrollee, Charles Robinson. Um, you know, we moved him to Z behind Pete. He's doing really, really well there. We've got Jaden Johnson from Thurgood Marshall uh, that redshirted for us last year. Um, 
you know, in the kind of build of, of uh, Jalen Williams uh, with a little more body twitch, you know, 6'2", 220 pounds probably, big and physical. And then Rob Williams might be the toughest cover we have out here right now. Um, he's just a handful in one-on-one. So I'm excited about the room. It's, it's going to, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a work in progress. Um, and then we're going to add a couple more guys this summer that I'm really, really excited about, and we'll throw them in the mix and see what happens. How close is Charles Robertson to, to like getting on the field and getting meaningful minutes, or is he still a ways away? No, no, he's he's uh, Charles played at Zachary, so he, you know he had a, comes from a good program, high expectations, understands the workload, uh, really, really smart, really, really tough. Um, he'll be right in the middle of it. He'll be right in the middle of it, um, and he is a big, long, physical version of maybe the guys that got out of here. You know, so I'm excited about Charles, man. He's he's over six foot. He's a, almost 190 pounds. He's, he's tough as heck, um, and he can really run. So we're excited about him, and he'll be right in the middle of it. He'll contribute on special teams, and, and he'll be a valuable player for us on the offensive side as well. All right, so – you know, I'm not in practice, and I and obviously you know way more about your personnel than I do, but I'm a little concerned, not a lot, about the running back situation. Like, you know, I, you know, Draylon, I've heard good things about him, and I, I think he's the most talented back you got, and so that's a good right. thing uh, about Draylon right. Washington's progress. But Contrell's not really ready, it doesn't sound like. And no. what, 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 are, are you at all concerned about the numbers and the depth at running back? No, I, th- I think in the end of the day, we'll be fine. Um, you know, we really are excited about Zylan Perry, right? We think he's a version of Chris Smith uh, with a little more downhill to him. You know, uh, Chris at times wanted to play a little sideways because of his speed, right? Um, Zylan's got the same kind of functional movement, but he's a little more downhill. So we're excited about him. Drake's probably had the best camp of any camp that that we've had since he's been here both spring or fall. So he's been really productive. Uh, Terrence Williams, I mean, we know what he is, right? And and he's been consistent and dependable and tough like he always is. Uh, Jacob Cabote's had a good spring. You know, obviously we're still, you know, we're still missing Kendrell, man. We would love to have Kendrell 100% and healthy, but that knee, you know, was blown up pretty good and it's just taking a little, bo- little bit longer to rehab and recover than maybe we wanted. Um, so he's out there in the black jersey, the knee brace, but he's just kind of a shell of himself right now. And every day is progress, but he's a ways away, um, unfortunately. And so we're hoping he can turn the corner this summer and, and get him back in the fold. And, and you know, truth be told, we got to play a little bit better there than we did last year. And so uh, we're looking for those guys to to step up. And, we you know, we signed Bill Davis um, and – you know, a big back that's 10, 700 meters, and, and hopefully we can get him in the fold and, and figure this thing out. And, you know, somebody needs to kind of separate themselves from the pack. So far, uh, all these guys are having a good camp, but we really are excited about what Dre's done up to this point, and we'll see if it keeps trending in that direction. All right, so you and probably – Coach Mike is tired of hearing about me and a couple others talk about the tight end position. But I've been waiting for Neil Johnson to have this breakout season, and we're running out of time. And I've heard right. really good things about Terrence Carter. So right. am I fooling myself, or should we just drop this subject? No, these two guys, man, um, these two guys are really skilled route runners. They're matchup problems. They're strong. Um Terrence Quarter is going to remind you of Neil when you watch him run around and catch balls and do those things. Um, maybe even with a little more short air quickness, but one thing Terrence is now, Terrence is, uh, you know, Neil played quarterback. Terrence has always played tight end slash wide receiver. So Terrence is used to kind of sticking his face in there and mixing it up in the block game. And um, he's physical, he's tough, and they're, they're, Sometimes when you're watching film, you can't figure out which one it is who's running the route when it's a wide camera shot because they move very, very similar. So those two guys are real guys. And, um, you know, until until somebody in this wide receiver room steps up and separates themselves and somebody at running back really steps up and separates themselves, um, we're going to we're gonna try to feature those guys because they, they, they're unique players, both of them. And you were a quarterback. I mean – I just think completing a pass to a tight end, especially really good ones, is easier. Am I wrong there? 
no, no, there's there's some comfort level there, and and you know most of these routes are are designed. Um, you know, there's layers to everything, and there's movement keys, and people match a route. You got to throw it somewhere else. So, you know, although the ball doesn't end up there all the time, um, you know, it's um, it's comforting to know that. I can throw the ball down to this guy at six yards, and he's a good enough athlete to turn it into a 12, 15, 18-yard game. Uh, it's also comforting to know, listen, if they roll the coverage over here and they're going to play one-on-one on this guy with a safety or a linebacker, that is a matchup problem, and you can generate an explosive play back over there. So, you know, um, I will tell you this. They both caught, caught a lot of balls this spring. They both caught a lot of balls this spring, and, and – uh they're both coming over and doing wide receiver DB one on ones with us, um, and we're we're going to try to use their skill set, man. They're they're good players, and and you know last year we played fifty percent of the game with two tight ends in the game. Now these two cats will be different, right? You know Johnny was a dang like an extra offensive lineman, right. six six two seventy. These two cats are route runners, and it's unique because you can be in twelve personnel, have two tight ends on the field. But if you break the formation and move it around, you're really in four wides, essentially, right? So right. Uh, somebody with that would want to match big people with big people and run out more linebackers and D-linemen, there's going to be a problem. There, there'll be a problem with those two guys. So it'll be interesting to see how it plays out, and um, we're certainly going to try to use them. All righty, sir. I'll let get you go to the next meeting here. We appreciate your time. Always enjoy talking to you. Good luck to you all. Appreciate it, Kevin. We're right in the middle of our coaches' clinic, man. So we got a building full of high school coaches from the Cadiana area and, and around the state. Um, so if anybody out there is listening that that's not registered, not not going here, we're going to be going all day here today, all day tomorrow with practice involved, and then uh, hell, we're going to give away crawfish tomorrow night. So that's never a bad thing, right? Absolutely. Thank you, sir. All right. Yep.